Hello, this video is about measuring waves. If you haven't watched my earlier video, which is called What is a Wave, make sure you watch that first. So, this is a waveform. It's basically a graph that represents a wave. The wave it represents could be either transverse or longitudinal. In both cases, it would still look like this because it's just a graph, it's not the actual wave. So if it were a longitudinal wave, this might represent a compression and that might represent a rarefaction. The y-axis represents the size of the oscillation. So depending on the type of wave it is, this might be measured in volts or in meters or something else. And the x-axis is time in seconds. Waveforms are useful because they give us information about a wave. Here are some of the key things that we can learn from a waveform and their definitions. For this wave, the amplitude would be the height of a wave crest. For example, that height there, that would be the amplitude. Or the depth of a wave trough, so from the midpoint either to the top of a wave crest or from the midpoint down to the bottom of a wave trough and it's a measure of the energy a wave carries if there if this was a sound wave the amplitude would indicate the loudness of the sound wave for example the period is the time taken for one complete oscillation so if we take for example the starting point here at zero and we go along one full oscillation one complete wave we go up here down to the midpoint down and then back up to the midpoint again that would be one full oscillation and the time it takes to do that one full oscillation is called the period now you can measure the start of an oscillation anywhere we could start it here and then one full oscillation would be this and then to the top of the next peak so t capital t the period would be this so from 2.5 seconds until 4.5 seconds is two seconds for the period in this case the frequency is the number of wave crests passing a fixed point per second in other words it's the number of waves per second so if we look at this graph here um, each second how many waves would pass by if we were to stand at a fixed point and watch waves go by how many would go by in one second well it takes two seconds for one full oscillation one full wave we know that from the period so in one second we only actually get half a wave so the frequency for this wave f um, is 0 0.5 waves per second or alternatively the actual unit for frequency is Hertz HZ so it would be 0 0.5 Hertz which just means waves per second we can get the wavelength lambda so this is the Greek letter lambda for wavelength we can get the wavelength by looking at an actual wave. For example, here are two waves um, in, in, in slinkies. This is a transverse wave here, which is caused by m moving the hand up and down, oscillating up and down. And this here is a longitudinal wave, which is caused by oscillating the hand forwards and backwards both create waves one is transverse the other is longitudinal and for proper definitions of those go and see my earlier video called what is a wave so the wavelength looking at these waves is the actual distance between two peaks so that peak and that peak that distance there in meters would be the wavelength or one wave trough to another wave trough so from there to there that's on a transverse wave on a longitudinal wave you can measure it by taking the midpoint of a compression 
and the midpoint of the next compression and measuring that distance in meters alternatively you can do the same for a rarefaction so that would also be the wavelength there now frequency and wavelength are inversely related so when frequency increases which is what you see in the bottom graph here or the bottom waveform it has a higher frequency but you can see that the wavelength if we measure the wavelength here from peak to peak or from trough to trough either way the wavelength is quite short as compared to the wavelength here on this wave which has a lower frequency but the wavelength is much longer so when frequency increases the wavelength is shorter and when frequency is decreased the wavelength is longer we can also calculate the speed or velocity the velocity um, in meters per second of a wave by using this equation and we multiply the frequency in Hertz by the wavelength and the wavelength is in meters now one Hertz is just one wave per second so Hertz is another way of saying per second so here's a question that we can use to test our understanding here water waves can be made by vibrating a wooden bar up and down in a tray of water the bar moves up and down at a frequency of 5 Hertz so it's telling us the frequency what else does the question tell us well it tells us that this distance here is 48 centimeters okay that will come in useful so let's look at what they're asking calculate the speed in centimeters per second of the water waves write down the equation you use and then show clearly how you work out your answer well they're asking for speed and from the equation we just learned v equals f multiplied by lambda so that's the equation they want Sp speed or velocity equals frequency times wavelength so we have the frequency so we can give that a tick because they gave us that in the question now the wavelength we're going to have to figure it out we know that this distance from here all the way to here is 48 centimeters now how many wavelengths is that well let's count starting from this peak here that's one wavelength two three four five six wavelengths okay so we know that six waves fits inside 48 centimeters so how long is one wave well 48 divided by six if you know your six times tables is eight centimeters correct me if I'm wrong um, now so we now know the wavelength it's eight centimeters so what we have to do is take the frequency which is five Hertz multiply that by the wavelength which is eight centimeters and that gives us 40 centimeters per second for the speed that was a video on measuring waves you learned a few key terms and what a waveform is and what you can measure from it you learned the equation v equals f lambda to calculate the wave speed the frequency or the wavelength if you like the video make sure to click like if you want more videos like this be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to make a suggestion please comment below see you next time